everybody. I am so excited to be able to join the Kirby Community Collab Coloring done by Karen and Ness. So the page that I had signed up for is this one over here. And it's a single page spread with this like really cool guard dog creature who's guarding this futuristic city um, filled with flying spaceships. I'm also going to be having a galaxy background, A, because, you know, it's the universe, um, and it'll be my first time doing galaxies as well. Um, so with a galaxy background, I'm going to be following the tutorial with Color with Claire. And then after that, what I'll be doing is um, having this guard dog. I want it to be metallic, but I don't want it to be just any metal. I want it to be red, like a red, shiny, metallic guard dog. I think that'll be really cool. All right, so I'm gonna begin with the sky and I'm gonna be doing it with the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Um, so the black I chose is Chinese Black 2030, Gook Blue 0820, Mauve 0740, and finally Fuchsia 0700. Um, I'm going with Derwent because they have so many really small, small areas here to fill in and having a fine point can help make sure that I don't smudge it too much. I feel like there's gonna be some clashes perhaps with my, you know, traditional galaxy sky, pinkish, blackish, bluish, and then red, red, red up over here, and then our goopy looking poisonous, toxic um, energy source that is powering up the city, but I think it can work. Um, so join me as I color along. here um, I put the first layer of the color down using the dirt ink tents. The way in which I was holding the pencils is kind of like this, um, just with the, the tip of it in in my palm and then holding it as far away as possible just to lay it down as flat as I can with a very sharp pencil that's important too. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you hold it like this you put in a lot of pressure and that creates marks on the page um, because it goes pushes into the tooth. But over here, you laying it down as lightly as possible, which means that I have as um, smooth of a lay down as possible without any pencil streaks, um, which will allow it to have like a nicer, smoother finish. So I'm activating it here with just uh, the thinnest water pencil that I can find. Um, so when you activate the color, you wanna start from lightest towards the dark so that you can preserve some of the lighter areas and everything else is just smushed into the dark and get nice little blended gradients.
so the first layer is now done. Normally when I color, I want it to be way more um, well blended without the streakiness. And that's one thing that I have a hard time with, honestly, with Derwent Ink Tense pencils, is that even though they have lots of really cool colors, the way it reacts with this paper is that it fades out slightly and it's harder to control a smoother gradient. However, what is nice about them is that they put a really good base layer down and they cover all the white without necessarily sneaking through to the next page. There is no bleed through whatsoever. Um, and that means that on top of it, that's when you can add in your color pencils in order to make it a smoother, clearer sky. I looked at Sarah Renee Clark's video on how she did the Galaxy Astronaut in Worlds Within Worlds. And what she did was she started with that layer of Derwent Ink Tints and then on top of it put the Prismacolors to give it um, that nice burnished look. So I'm going to try to mimic that technique over here as well. Um, so the colors that I chose to match the sky are Denim Blue, Cobalt Blue Hue, Violet, Dahlia Purple, and Mulberry. And so this can hopefully give it like a nice burnished look. Um, and I think that the colors would work still with our four-legged fury being a metallic red because when you put red next to these colors they don't look terrible together so i think that it can still work to have this monster here be red all right time to start coloring pencils and coloring books are just a match made in heaven. I mean, look at this difference here. I only worked on this one section. It took me 10 minutes. Ha! Uh, so it's gonna take me a while to finish this guy unless I work a tiny bit faster. But this is after like multiple layers of going over and over it with these coloring pencils. And so the Derwent are great, I think, for just getting rid of the white because the hardest thing with coloring pencils is to fill out the white. It takes forever. So having some kind of water-based medium like the Derwent Ink Tense watercolor pencils or even like the Neo Color 2s are really helpful to just get rid of that white first and then on top of that putting in the coloring pencils to just just really make it just intensify and shine. Notice I put white dots on it as well and that's also what Sarah Renee Clark had done where she first put on paint pen dots and then on top of that did the coloring pencils to fade them out into the background and then ended with some brighter star dots on top of that so that way you have stars in the background and then stars in the foreground which are really cool so i'm very excited this is my first galaxy it's also my first time using dahlia purple so i'm loving this color and yeah i'm very oh also violet i don't think i've ever used the violet either so exploring new prismacolor pencils that have been sitting around in my case for a while exploring a new fun background effect because i've that's been one of my goals is to do better backgrounds so i'm really really happy with what i have with this so far and i'm excited to continue for the rest of it
And there we go. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about how to make a nice galaxy sky. This is the whole completed piece. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.